Okay, so. What's going on, Pro Cutters? So my knife sheath is starting to wear out a little bit and I'm here in Illinois with my mother-in-law, Barb, who is the super sewer. And so we're gonna make a new one and she's nice enough to be on camera. She's not as shy as her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we gotta do is measure our new material and then cut it to size. So that's two inches. So to double it would be four. And then that same is a quarter. So five inches wide is what we gotta cut it to. And then the length is gonna be Length would be five, ten, twelve and a half, plus the tab on that end and the tab on the other end, so thirteen. So five by thirteen. Let me make that a little bit longer so I can cut that off. Because yep. yes. there's a quarter inch tab, and it's two inches wide and five inches long. Okay. So we're going to double this. straight hand turn here. Yeah, and then we need five inches on that side. Five inches at this side. Okay, so here's your 13 by 5. Right, so then that gets folded in half long ways. Mm -hmm. And that should be two and a half inches. So two and a half. And then we do a quarter inch tab folded over. Only one direction you can see from the inside. This, the tab is not there. Okay. I don't think. So it's about a quarter of an inch. Actually, right I think I think they took. I think they put a piece over. That's what it looks like because there's a tab here yeah. and a tab here. Are you but I don't think that's necessary. Okay. I don't think that adds any needed strength. If anything, by looking at where the damage is, the only extra strength you would maybe need to be at the bottom. At the bottom, okay. So, that's good? Yeah. We're going to sew this. Okay. And then we'll need the um, Velcro has to be sewn on one end. Okay. So we're going to sew that down first though. Okay, so we'll need two inches of Velcro. making this with ripstop nylon guys so it'll be a little bit more durable than regular nylon. Okay we're 
we're going to sew this flap down first. Yeah, and what will come in handy is each of those squares is a quarter inch. These new machines are a lot easier to thread than the old machines. <laughs> having some issues with this vinyl. So, then we're going to put the Velcro around here at the top. Yes. And it, the way they had this one done was it starts, it's right below that top flap, and then the two side flaps are containing it. And we're using sewing vinyl. I guess that could probably be a half inch narrower. That could be two inches so even. So if you're going to have your Cause you're going to, yeah, right. right. So let's do this. So that piece needs to be the two inches mm -hmm. that the final product will be. So I think we have enough room here for your quarter inch seam allowance. Yep. Yeah, each one of these squares is a quarter inch. Okay. Which is pretty convenient. Oh yes it is. <laughs> kind of like grid paper. Yeah. Grid paper to a quilter. Okay. Which it could go up a little bit higher. You want me to come up at um this Yeah, because you went down two dots on that first one. Okay. So yeah, we can go ahead and just cover that right just over. Like that. Okay.
Right. So now we could probably go ahead and um, sew. sew the long. I would say we could sew the long seams first, do the seam the okay. whole sides. All right, so from top to bottom, is that how they're doing it? Top to bottom. Huh? Yeah, if it's all in one. Okay. So if you just went right down that edge as cl okay. close to the edge you can get it, and then we'll uh, fold it over one square and put another one because we need to hold that edge together unless we use pins should we use some um, straight pins to hold the edge together so we can just do, do our seam I think maybe we need to run an iron down that to uh, Nope, you don't run for an iron. No? Oh, because it's nylon. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing so, we're working with the boss, guys. Because <laughs> I'd have melted the heck out of that. <laughs>